Hello everyone, I'm Guy Lois Lego, and today I'll be uh, doing comparison for you guys between Dorian Bricks Friends for Offers Gunship and Brickler Bricks for Offers Gunship. And this comparison I've been wanting to do for a very long time, and I'm very excited to show this, show this to you guys, and I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Excuse me. But yeah, so just to get a little bit out of the way, so this is going to be different than my comparisons I used to do, where I would use like MNR's comparison system and all that. I'm not going to do that this time because this is my third time recording this video and I really do not want to do that again. So maybe it's me being lazy, but what I'm going to do for this video is just, I'm literally just going to go over all these, di all, di both of these builds, like just like do all the categories in one order. And I'm basically just be doing like a two in one review at this point, but I'm just going to compare them go over some things I missed in my original reviews and yeah, let's get right into it. So I will, I will do comparing, like I'll do friends uh, stop, but, and then I'll just do the entire section. So start with the friends here. Uh, they both do have a decent design, though Dorian Bertrand is way better just because Bricklayers is like gappy and messy and all that. And Dorian, I just like his because his is a lot cleaner, and this really does like say like heavy gunship. And then uh, play wise, I'll give it to Bricklayer just because these guns do move a lot more and everything. Though I do like Dorian's better just because it can go up and down. I do like Dorian's brother for d design just because, well, it can go up and down, but also like this design I do like a lot more. And yeah, so then we'll go move up to the cockpits. And Dorian's definitely does have better function because you can open, open them up like this, where bricklayers you have to do that and then uh, do um, this if you can get it to open. Bricklayers is just a lot um, more messy to get to work. And then inside his, he only has a handlebar and then a control console where dorian has two massive flight yokes for each one and two control consoles for each one and i just think that's a lot better and plus i think dorian's cockpits do look a lot better so yeah and then up here this is a thing i missed in my original review which is something i'm a little sad about up here i thought this was just like a big hole in the roof but actually it's a space for an astromech droid and i have r2 r2 in here right now and if i can get this back on but yeah so r2 he just fits on here with uh one uh stud right there and yeah originally i thought this was just like a big gaping hole but it's actually just a space for an astronaut droid so sorry dorian i miss that your i miss that in my review and yeah so, and then for the roof of dorian uh, i do gotta say that is a little messy up here because it's very gappy and d doesn't fill it out a lot that's something brickler does a lot better where these things are really fragile but he really does fill out his roof a lot better and he actually has like the missile missile pods and everything and so yeah, I think I say the roof is better for Bricklayer, and then for the engines, I gotta give it to uh, Dorian just because like Bricklayer's engines, while they do look good, they're very simplistic and a little bit messy looking. Where Dorian, I really do like this main column here that they, he has, and then here I just feel like it's a lot, it's a lot less messy than Bricklayer. So, man, sorry, but yeah. So then I'll flip these models around to show you guys the back, and let's see if I can do this. Uh, both these models are pretty fragile so moving them is some is just a big scare sometimes though the back here like i gotta get to bricklayer all the way where dorian he does have a decent design for the back he doesn't have anything going on like bricklayer does so bricklayer he has a main ball joint uh cannon in the back which is nice then also he has this uh fold out uh quad turret which has a place has control console and a place for mid figures it and i think that is just really really cool so I gotta give it to Brickler there. And then the wings for design for design perspective, I definitely do gotta give it to Brickler just cause like uh, Dorian's is really a play function for the wings and Brickler really just has a good design. Um, I'll show you guys what I mean here. That's okay, let me move these. Yeah, sorry, this video is a little bit of a thing. But yeah, I really like Brickler's like really smooth design and all that. And then the small like bump here to show like the, the like Baldwin cannons. But right here, I really like this function of the fold-out uh, missiles. Like, you fold these out, and then if you have the stud shooters, you can launch them all out. And I think that's just a really cool function and all that. So, I'd say it's probably tied here because Bricklayer has a really good design, though Dorian has a really good play function. So, yeah. And then, uh, move over to the siding. Uh, Dorian is a little bit plain. I do think he has a very good design, but doesn't doesn't have much going on. So, like, he does have a very good, like, flap here, and then there isn't anything you could use to like put in here like just like there isn't anything you can put in here but maybe you could make something and then here in the alleyway you can put you can fit four minifigures as i do here but bricklayer on the other hand he has a turret and and this is the way i'd say you guys want to put on the turret is where the clone trooper is on this side of the turret uh, i can show you over here if you can see but as you can see the clone trooper is on uh, that side 
and you can see that over here as well and that just gives you a lot more range of motion because like they can go all the way over here and all the way over here and i'm pretty sure that's around like 120 150 50 degrees of range so yeah so i'd say brick layer wins it on that and then next are the interiors and this is gonna be a little bit difficult to do because obviously the wings are in the way and i gotta film this in one take so i can't exactly take the wings off so so for dorian i would say the doors i would say they both are actually pretty identical because like brick layer while he does fill it out all the way the doors are a little bit like wonky and they're very fragile where Dorian, I would say is a better design, but it's very gabby. But, yeah, and also Dorian's are a lot more sturdy, so. And Dorian also has the two doors. I'm sorry, this video is really, like, uh, all over the place, and I gotta fix this door. But, yeah, the interior of Dorian wins, no doubt, because you can fit 13 troops in there, and you might be, even be able to fit one or two more. I, I, cr I cram them in pretty tightly, you, but you can fit 13 troops in here, whereas Bricklayer, on the other hand, uh, you fold open this door, and then you can open this door. Uh, you can only fit eight min figures, and the reason I have the Jet Troopers in here is just to show that you can fit the Jet Troopers. On Dorian's, you can kind of do that as well, but it's not as good of a fit. But yeah, you can fit eight troopers in here, and it's not the, it's not the best, but one thing I do like about both of these is you can both they both can turn to episode two in a very like um easy way. For bricklayers, you take off this front panel, and then you have an episode two gunship where you can fold out. And then for Dorian's, you literally just take off the front uh, door altogether, and then you have a I I would say more proper episode two, uh dooring. So yeah, that was pretty much the doors and. I'm honestly surprised. Yeah, I thought this video would take a lot longer, but I'm pretty sure that is all there is for this comparison. Like, like I was hyping this video up to be like 15 minutes, and I don't know why I'm telling you about this. Sorry, this video really is all over the place, and I just had I just had like a really difficult time trying to film this video all together. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you couldn't tell, I do like Dorian's Dorian's um gunship a whole lot more. I just think that I think this front section really kills it in. Then he can hold a lot more truth, which is what a gunship is for. And then Dorian's is, like, more sturdy altogether. Like, Bricklayer, there are a lot of tiny things that break off. And on Dorian's, the stuff that break off are really big things that are really easy to get back on. Like, the, like the doors here, they connect by one clip where where they may fall off easily, but you can put them back on. But Bricklayer is, like, they're just really wonky. So, yeah, I gotta give this comparison to Dorian Brickshaw. There are a few things that Bricklayer does excel at, like the wings and then the ball and then the turrets. Not or else, I really dig you guys with the Dorian. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this comparison. Again, I'm sorry it was all over the place in this video. I'm still trying to get my groove back in after I was gone for so many months. What? Well, just a month. But, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this comparison. I don't care if you like and subscribe. In the comments, leave any builds you guys want me to do in the future. And, yeah, bye.